All right, guys. So, got a few uh, updates here. Got the genuine parts Kawasaki igniter harness. Brand spanking new. Because this guy here is just for one, it's corroded, but for two, it's got. Um, Where'd it go? Okay, so this piece right here, I had to actually, well, it came off now. But I tried fixing this by welding or uh, soldering it to that piece. Didn't work. Um, and when I went to go, the reason I had to do that is because this red wire pulled, well, first and foremost, one of the pins broke off in the inside here of this section here. There's supposed to be four pins, there's only three. And the pin that broke off, coincidentally enough, was the 12 volt supply pin from the voltage regulator so <clears throat> that being said I didn't know what the condition of the rest of them were I didn't want to take a chance especially you know with getting I ended up uh, finding a new igniter as well so we are well on our way and I figured I would just show you guys where I'm at as far as Plugs and progress. And then, yeah, I picked these up today. Not real thrilled about the purple, but who cares? These little spring action needle nose. Got a long set, normal, and then a little bent set. A little, little mini set here. Got for three bucks a tractor supply. I was like, heck yeah. Getting those. Thank you. 
are basically done here, folks. So that is the completed rebuild of this electrical box. I did test. I did test the stator, like I said before, and I tested the ignition coil, and they seem to be fine from what I was being um, informed of as far as readings. So, to, uh, next is going to be the ins. Uh, we're just going to slap this thing in there and see if we got spark and see if it fires up. So, that'll be next. All right, guys, so now is the time. We're gonna go ahead and put this e-box in and see if we can get some spark. step closer to get spark in this thing. Probably won't really even get a chance to see if this doggone thing floats. Positive battery terminal on, terminal on. I did get new registration numbers ordered from MichiganRegistrationNumber.com. I gotta go get the lanyard key. We're gonna put two or three of these on here. Spark plug. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. No. Oh, it was an easy recovery this time. Okay. This is going to be a moment of truth. So we got the stop in. Let's see if we can get a good angle of the spark there. got spark okay now let's see if we can get it to run uh, you know what I think I want to put some 
two stroke down in there. Just to be safe. Never hurts to have a little bit of extra oil. Just do that. Grab some two stroke. All right, so I got the pre-mix. I got a mixed heavy, so. And I like to, when I put it down in the cylinder here, I like to immediately put the spark plug back in. That way there's no evaporation. There we go. Got me a rag key. This engine's pretty clean too. Fuels should still be pretty good. Where's the plug? This is exciting. One, two, three. All right, guys, here it comes. Two. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. All right, guys. Is it gonna happen? Let's uh, sit you guys back so I can free up my other hand. All right. Here it goes. Fuel is on. On. Choke. That's what I like. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh. Looks like that blue. For the clock? Well, at least it's got spark now. <laughs> so. I'm guessing it might have something to do with this throttle stop. Button. Those typically go bad. I took that apart though and checked it and it seemed perfectly fine. Alright guys, I figured it out. Stupid me, I had a couple wires switched going to the, uh, the the fuse box so that's it the only thing left to do here I need to make sure that it's using oil so the best way to do that is to premix I mean you can do it off the stand or on the stand and pull the lines off and then turn it over without the wires being on and then that will tell you if it's pumping. Or you can just premix it. Okay, so this, that's the oil injection pump right there. So you have your main line, and then you got one, two, and three for the carburetors. Well, these are all really flexible. They're not brittle, and that's norm, that's what you have to look out for. A lot of people just replace them or to replace them, but... If it ain't broke, don't fix it type situation. There is preventative maintenance, you know. That's always something good to do. But um, at this point, I will pre-mix the first tank and then not worry, and then check and make sure. I'm gonna put a, what you do is you just draw, draw a line. But just below that, you can see where it gets darker. That's where the oil is currently. 
So you fill it up, pre-mix it, and then after that, um, you just run it and it's protected. And then you keep an eye and see if it's using oil. And if it's using oil and it's smoking quite a bit, and the good thing is, is this fuel in here is good. It smells perfect. So that is it, guys. So what I'll do is I'll put this all back together and then I'll, I'll fire it back up for you. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, it's the brightness guy. <laughs> I thought that was the zoom. All right. Starts and stops just like she should. Good deal. All right, so that's it, guys. At least for this part. Uh, I just am gonna put the finishing touches up on it, or uh, put the finishing touches on it. And um, I do have the the registration letters coming. Still got a gash there. It's got that crack. A little bit of chipping there, and then that. Oops, sorry that right there but you know when you're zooming around on the lake who cares I mean they're 20 years old this one's 20 this the STX 900 is 20 years old and the 98 is 22 years old so you know not really that big of a deal to me you know as long as they're they're functional and they're safe and they look, you know, moderately decent. That's all I care about. So, that's them, baby. I'm liking it. Praise God. Um, like I said, I'll probably end up taking these off sooner or later. And getting those all cleaned up. The reverse does work, though. Locks in place. It's a little stiff. So I could probably just squirt it with some, uh, let's try some WD-40. I got the gel kind too. This stuff right here, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this stuff. That stuff's awesome. It's the non-drip. I mean, that's the way to go for sure. That's the stuff I like to use. Found out about it, one of my buddies told me about it. I was like, no, dude, that's awesome. All right, so let's see here. Why don't I go ahead and Lock it down to reverse. And then we'll just give it a nice squirt. That's pretty much all we're going to do for now. Um, as I update this thing and get the letters on, get it ready to rock, get a little video of it out on the lake too. So thanks a lot. Uh, like I said, if you're not subscribed, subscribe hit that alert bell so you guys get updates on new videos and um, updates on other series and you know if you like the video like it I always appreciate that um, comment as well and if you know anybody that likes this kind of content you think you'd be interested in it please feel free to share it and social media and stuff like that and, you know, get it around I always appreciate the, uh, the support so thanks a lot guys and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Come on back.